The latest issue of the High Republic comic by Kevin Scott gave us our first canon appearance of the Sorcerers of Tuned. They've been mentioned in canon source books and stories before, but this is the first time we've actually seen what they look like outside of Legends. They were first created for the Lando Calrissian Adventures series of novels back in 1983. Roker Gepta was the main villain of those stories, chasing Lando around the galaxy until the Gambler finally killed him. But who were the Sorcerers? As of right now, we just know that they were a group of Force users of affiliated with the dark side. Some of their artifacts were held in the Bogan Collection in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. During the High Republic, they had a presence on Jedha with a representative in the Convocation, which was a group of several belief systems surrounding the Force. They worked to better understand the Force together. Legend sources tell us the Sorcerers of Tuned first established themselves around 5,000 years before the Battle of Yavin. Supposedly, they were pure-blood Sith that were cast out from their homeworld. Right now in canon, there is no such thing as the Sith species, but it's still possible the Sorcerers could have been splintered out of the Sith Order. Like their name implies, the Sorcerers of Tuned wielded the Force through magic, similar to the Night Sisters of Dathomir. The ancient Jedi didn't view them as a great threat to the galaxy, and even tried to convert some of them away from the dark side. Even the Sith didn't consider them to be a significant force in the galaxy. But the High Republic has instantly shown us that they have potential for great evil. The Jedi Master Vildar Mac witnessed the slaughter of his village at the hand of one of the Sorcerers of Tuned. The traumatic event, understandably, stuck with him for decades, and he drew his lightsaber against another sorcerer on the planet Jeddah. But that individual, Tarn Miak, was the representative of the sorcerers on the Convocation, and he existed peacefully among the people of the Holy Moon. His appearance matches fairly well with the old Legends depictions of the Sorcerers, and small details like the fact that they call the Force the Unity are still consistent. That's all you really need to know about the group. I was excited to see them pop up again nearly 40 years after their original creation, and the High Republic era seems like an interesting time to dig into their relationship with the Jedi. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.